Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guide. When we talk about a monster, its stats, its movesets, its kits, what you can run on it, what you can't run, what you shouldn't run on it, its rune set, its partners, all that jazz. Uh, today we are looking at Nishan's pet. Uh, so uh, I'm actually gonna post this. I don't think I've I've had like the I've had a Tombs pet. I did one on a tombs bed, but I haven't posted that yet. I might post it along with this one uh, when I post it. I'm, I'm going to post this one first and then on tombs bed, or vice versa. Uh, honestly, with this this guy just came out today, like in the morning. I, I like as soon as like I got up and did my thing, I looked at the team shop, and here this guy was. This is the first thing I saw, and it was not the thing that's like <laughs> it's like the, the thing you wake up to in the morning is like ugly as shit and it's like awkward as hell it's like oh okay <laughs> awesome <laughs> uh which is funny because that's its description is creepy as hell uh this is a really cool monster that came out on halloween i mean like it's pretty cool it's uh or it's halloween month or it's like october and this is the pet that they decided to release next uh which is a bat monster and i think that's cool uh uh, you know what's better than a monster looking cool? It's like skills. Uh, this is actually the first uh, general pet monster that wasn't just a flame bag turd. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, because with the other ones, uh, Thede's pet has just all water moves and that's terrible. Uh, like the the uh, Darmus pet was just just straight up simple. I mean, like it's just damage. There's no way, like anything really special about it. it's just damage uh he's got no bu uh, self buffs or anything like that uh he's she's just plain and simple uh a tomb's pet uh really with him is like he just attack at least kind of like the same thing with dharma's pet which is just attack attacking and stuff like that he has like two shield moves and a damage return plus a damage buff I wouldn't say that's a really, uh, basically, so far, all these monsters, all the general pets that have come out are no better than the generals themselves, uh, but this one is actually the first one that is actually, uh, better than, possibly better than, uh, its general counterpart, or at least it goes in that level of equality, uh, it's not the same, like, category, but, like, this guy's a deny monster, this guy isn't an attacker, but it goes in, it, it's it's better than what they've been giving people it's it's, it's better moves it's it, this monster was more so thought out uh he's also kind of <laughs> right now he's really OP actually uh i don't know if they intend to ever nerf his kit but i don't know <laughs> he is pretty strong at the moment and i which is one of the reasons why i'm actually excited to do this guide on him uh so looking at his power he has 3388 power that's an okay power. Um, for dark monsters, that's... Eh. Uh, usually you see a really high dark, uh, power for dark monsters, but that's alright. Because, again, again, this guy doesn't... In fact, this guy doesn't have many damaging moves, so don't worry about his damage. Uh, his life is 26,000k, uh, plus some 239. Uh, his speed is interesting, 3,465. I think that's the same speed as, like... Uh, Kalik, uh, and Frostbite. I think that goes around in that speed, or at least, like, uh, Cavanfish. I think that's Cavanfish's speed, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. But he, he is about as fast as some of the better deny monsters in the game. Uh, let's go on to his special, uh, Hell's Horde. Uh, deals very heavy dark damage to all enemies. Uh, may give nightmares to all targets, may daze all targets. Uh, not a OP skill, but it's not terrible. <laughs> it's an alright skill. I don't know how many p t people are going to be using this alt all that much because this kid's just as better as his alt. Uh, let's see, his moves. Uh, I mean, like his first skill. Okay, so nothing good in his first skill set. Let's go on to his second skill set. Infernal Rabies. Deal moderate special damage. May slow a target. May daze target. Uh, this is actually a really interesting skill. Uh... And the fact it slows and also dazes. It'll for sure daze and there's a chance it'll actually slow. Uh, this is actually good to use on the enemy denier. If you can get the slow to land, then yeah, you're pretty good. <laughs> uh, in, in terms of that, if you had like an extra like... Like if your extra guy is tanked up on two speed runes, you could possibly get your guy that's on tank two speed runes to go first. 
or go before i mean go immediately after uh the your deny monster it, it's situational yes but it is a nice move to run it's a it's a, th it's a move to think about running it is a special damage move so you might want to run it just because of the special damage uh flesh piercer deals moderate damage may possess target requires cooldown this is a good skill to run uh, I'd recommend it since it's a possession skill. Uh, Gloomy Doom. All targets become very weak to dark attacks. May give nightmares to all targets. Requires cooldown. Now, I do believe this is actually a better move than Nishant's thing. I don't know if Nishant's is an AoE dealio, but this is an AoE dealio. Uh, I haven't really ever looked too much into Nishant's kit, uh, but I th I'm pretty sure he had like, at least, like, it was probably either a single target thing or it could have been a multiplayer, a multi hit thing. Uh, but this one does. AoE uh, weak to shadow uh, dark moves, that's, which is really nice. It is certainly something to think about running or to totally run if you run another dark monster. Uh, yeah, going on to his next set, uh, Nocturnal Tackle. This is a 50 damage move to return cooldown. Uh, deals heavy special damage, may daze target, may blind target. Uh, this is a move you should totally run. Uh, it's a stupid good uh, deny denier skill. Uh, in fact, this is a really good skill. If you use this on the enemy denier, uh, if you move first, you use this on the enemy denier. Uh, because then what you're going to do is you're going to like pretty much guarantee them not hitting you with their uh, AoE. Or, you know, you could always AoE possess them. <laughs> uh, this guy has an AoE possession, uh, which is really nice. So you should totally run this skill, too. Uh, so you probably want to like AOE possess first if they do, if the enemy isn't a possessor themselves. Uh, Shadow Yield may give double damage to ally, may possess target, may give nightmares to target, requires to cooldown. Uh, I can only ever see someone using this on a monster that is immune to like uh, possessions. Uh, so this could be like a double damage for Will Razorface. Uh, yeah, I. I honestly wouldn't recommend running this move. <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, because, it, look at this, it's like a one turn damage boost, and you're taking like three turns of nightmares, and it's, and again, possession is not a good thing. Uh, I don't even know why this is. Oh, this is. Oh, okay, never mind. This is a good thing. I thought this was towards an ally. I was like, why would you want to do this for an ally? No, 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 no. This is a. This is an enemy. Oh, okay, yeah, so totally want to run this guy. I thought it was, like, single ally. I didn't even read the thing. I was I just, like, I was just more, more so looking at the bottom stuff. This is a good skill to run. You should run this skill. Uh, but see, it says may give dam. Oh, okay, that's why, because it says may give damage to ally. It says enemy, though. <laughs> give it, they should, have, they should change that to enemy, not ally. People are going to think you give it to the ally. <laughs> So yeah, this is a actually an enemy skill. I actually recommend you run this skill then if it's that case. Uh, so the moves you should totally run: Nocturnal Tackle is a must move. Uh, Shadow Piercer is a must move. Uh, Shadow Yield, if it works on enemies, yeah, you totally want to run it on uh, enemies. Uh, and then the last move you can really do is uh, you have a choice between. Honestly, you have a choice between. Uh, I honestly, it's, it, it's totally like these three moves, or like you can do any. Like you don't have to use this move. Uh, the the single target double damage plus uh, possession, but it's not it's not a bad move. But you can totally totally. What you th this is okay. So this is it. You need to run nocturnal tackle for sure, and you need to run his AOE possession. I think everything else is your decision. Uh, really, with gloomy doom, uh, you'd have to run another dark monster to even make use of this. Uh, really. So it, it's situational at best. Uh, yeah, it's totally situational. Uh, I always like running another like special damage move for when I'm in team wars, uh, which is nice. I don't see gloomy doom being too useful uh, unless it's like a double dark uh, situation in team wars. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very uh, it's a very situational move for gloomy doom. So your your better bet is might actually be running like another possession or the I always like running another special moves to do damage to dark types. Uh, but then again, he's not really there to uh, do damage. He's there to deny. So maybe you want to do flesh pierce 
you can't honestly you can't go wrong after you, you totally want to do like the last three and any of these three are okay uh it's totally to match your situation all right so now what counters nishan's pet uh really uh well i guess I'll, i guess i'll just i'll talk about that later uh, but I'm going to get into runes and partners. So for this guy, uh, runes, you can totally do full speed. Uh, you can do a strength and two speeds. Um, yeah, you could do that. Uh, this guy's immune to possession, so you don't have to worry about him, like, getting confused in, like, wars and stuff, because dark monsters have possession skills in wars. Uh, hmm... Yeah, so usually, like, three speed. I don't know how good this guy's going to be if you run him as a, your main deny monster. Uh, you could probably work. I mean, like, it would probably totally work if you run him as the main deny monster because the computer's always going to do stuff. I'm just saying because, like, normal pe in the terms of normal people, like, normal people aren't going to attack when they're possessed. They're just going to recharge. So it kind of acts as another stun, uh, really. Uh, you could do pair this guy up with, like, a gear too, uh, with the a another AOE possession and stuff like that. You can just stream the possessions. Uh, the only thing concerning really is if they both do possessions at the same time. Uh, so they're pretty much wasting their their uh, uh, turns of possession really. Uh, so yeah, two, uh, full st full speed or uh, strength and a speed or two. S oh yeah, because this guy doesn't really do much damage, uh, so you might as well, well just run him full speed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because then your uh, then your other monsters have to rely on it. Because you have to think about it like when your AI is defending you, the uh, or when your when your monsters are fighting, uh, the uh, the players aren't actually going to attack when they're possessed. Uh, so that's that's the case really. Uh, with with possessions anyway. Uh, it's it's it, possessions really possessions are really nice it keeps people from attacking and if they do attack if they actually do misclick it can actually cost them the game uh but yeah beyond that uh really uh yeah if they don't like you know do anything yeah it's uh it's nice it's a very it's a very nice good form of uh stunning and stuff like that it pretty much acts like a stun uh all right what else what else um Okay, um, partners, uh, you want damage with this guy, you want, uh, people like, uh, you know, stuff that can take advantage of his kit, like, uh, oh, I think the ringer would love this guy, uh, just absolutely love him, like, the, they're, like, the best friends in college, like, I can't think of any other better partner that can take advantage of Gloomy Do more than, <laughs> than, uh, the ringer because of his 75 damage AoE, oh, that hurts so much, he wouldn't even need a boost of damage, he, like if you just shoved like three strength runes on Ringer and then the this guy was to like deny, but then at that point you'd actually want to run a main de another denier uh, if you want to use Gloomy Doom, uh, just so you you don't have to worry about oh if I do Gloomy Doom then I'm not going to be able to deny. Uh, so another denier wouldn't be bad with this guy too. Uh, so like Cavenfish or Kalik. Uh, Simply so you can land your gloomy doom, and then your ringer can do death, uh, death kneel. So yeah, that's that's totally a thing. Uh, mm, what else? Uh, so yeah, you could totally run another dark monster with this guy simply because their 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 only weakness is light monsters, by the way. Uh, so as long as you're not fighting a layeth or something like that uh, with like super effective damage, you don't have to worry too much. Uh, Things that counter Nishan's pet. Okay, I kid you not. These are the, uh, they're the they're, they're, they're they might not be the only ones, but these are the two best uh, monsters that can completely counter this guy. Uh, just straight up counter. Like I'm not even kidding. They just straight up disregard whatever this guy has in his kit and just says like, "See you later." Yeah, no thanks. Uh, I'll do this to keep my guys safe. Uh, you gotta worry about Incognita and Scrib. Uh, or scribe, or yeah, the 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 two new monsters in the illusion uh, map event, this they completely counter this guy. Uh, whatever this guy does, uh, the other guys can just clean up his mess. Really, 
uh, if they're faster than their main deny monster, really, uh, that situation can actually happen. Uh, and that's the only time this guy isn't doing anything. Uh, because with uh, Incognita, she can remove the debuffs with her AoE, uh, remove negative effects. Uh, and then with Scribe, he can actually just do AoE uh, possession immunity and clear, clean up any of it too. Uh, Scribe is an anti-possessor uh, pretty much for the entire team. It's like, it's pretty much the thing with Kalik. Kalik denies deniers. Uh, Scribe can deny specific a specific denier. Like, uh, Scribe pres uh, pretty much counters all uh, possessioners, really. Uh, so, Scribe just completely ignores what this guy has to say. Uh, can Scribe beat him one on one? I'm not saying, like, Scribe can, like, oh, like, uh, Scribe can do, like, a crap ton of damage to this guy. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, in terms of damage, I think uh, Nishan's pet would actually kick. Uh, Scribe's ass, because Scribe's not an attacker, really. He's more so just a status causer. Uh, maybe you can get like lucky with Scribe and like uh, land your status effect, really. But yeah, I'm I'm just saying overall, like in terms of countering kit, Scribe and Incognita can really do that really easy. Uh, I don't I don't know how many other monsters in Monster Legends can really counter this guy because he's a really fast monster and possessions really are pretty strong in this game uh, simply due to the fact that you can just possess the enemy team and win the entire game because the enemy monsters are just gonna just keep kicking the ass out of each other uh, excuse the language if you're a child <laughs> but uh but yeah that's that's the honest truth really uh th honestly possessions are kind of op uh simply because you can just you can continue to do so and you pretty much win the game hands down. The only time you're not going to win the game is if not if there's someone that is immune to possession and can clean up possessions, or if you're fighting Voltic, uh, really. Uh, since he's got multi-turns, he can actually keep... Uh, he'll, he'll attack his enemies... Uh, he'll attack his team for one turn, yeah, but after that, he's going to gun for you uh, because, like, it only lasts, again, it only lasts a turn, and Voltic has multiple turns, so any, anything really that has multiple turns don't has, doesn't have to really worry about Nishans, because the things with extra turns, really, uh, you know, they can do stuff, they're given more turns to do stuff, and they only hurt their allies once, uh, so this is, again, possession uh, situational, but it is honestly the best for, in, de in terms of dealing with AI, uh, in terms of getting, like, winning the game without pretty much doing anything. Uh, so yeah, this monster is by far the best pet uh, to get in Monster Legends so far. Uh, do not get him right away. Uh, I, I'm saying this during the fraternity event. Do not get this guy right away. Get him uh, later in the month. Like, anytime after the event's over. After the uh, the fraternity dead event's over. Like, it's like three days uh you spend your coins on runes. Like I'm talking level seven or nine runes. Do not do not waste your coins. I've had like uh, members in my team chat about like uh, how they spent uh, coins on level five runes. <laughs> uh, but they should be they should be investing in level seven and nine runes. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mean about it or anything like that. Uh, their coins is totally up to them. Uh, I wouldn't really do that just because you know you can you know make them. Uh, you can pretty much make them easy, uh, with, like, level 4 runes and stuff like that. The level 4, inst level four rune, uh, strategy where you take a level 4 rune and three level 1s of the one you want, uh, and it's a 26% chance to get it, really. Uh, so, yeah, that's what, if you guys watch my video, that's what I pretty much talk about. Uh, but yeah, get this, totally get this guy. This guy's, like, 22k this month. Uh, I totally say this guy is actually worth the price. Uh, this guy is legitimately worth the price. He doesn't have like uh, tough like the other pets, but he is worth the price uh, that he is at uh, right now. Uh, will he, will he be one point one k in the future? Yes. Uh, should you wait on it uh, when he is? Uh, yeah, that's a, probably a good idea. Uh, you're gonna be seeing this guy around a lot though in PvP because I'm sure everybody's gonna get this guy because he's just so good uh, in terms of dealing with like you know enemy. <laughs> uh, I'd say totally this guy is worth what he is. He's a really good monster. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm Did the Awesome. I will catch you guys later.